What is going on everyone, this is Nier again, today for you some Black Ops gameplay, we're playing a little Domination on Villa, using the MP5K with Extended Mag, Flag Jacket, Slave of Hand, Marathon, pretty standard setup, at least for me anyway. Uh, when I play Black Ops, I definitely enjoy using Flag Jacket, Slave of Hand, it's kind of an essential perk for me uh, when I'm playing Black Ops, simply because, you know, it's, it's in the second tier, you know, it's a second perk, it's pretty, you know, why not use it, right? I mean, I love using it, right? So, Slave of Hand, just being able to aim down your sight faster, and being able to reload faster, pretty nice. I don't have the benefits of Marathon Pro, because I am playing on my backup account here. But uh, I do have marathon, so I run a little bit faster and dodge every grenade, every grenade that comes to me, uh, just because of flag jacket, which flag jacket, guys. I would go ahead. I'm gonna go off right. I'm gonna start right off the bat. I'm gonna say that Bias Shield and Monfer Three needs to be buffed up to flag jacket status, right? Flag jacket is amazing in this game. You know, I have so many clips. That I, I mean, I'm not gonna make a video of me, you know, sitting there eating grenades, but you know, I can dodge two, sometimes three grenades. While I'm using flag jack in this game, depending on where they were placed, you know, flag jack is such an amazing perk, and you're right there, just dodging grenades. You know, they don't bother me, which is great, because how many times you've been on a good streak, come off for three, and all of a sudden, boom, grenade. You know, Mr. Revenge Killer come at you with a grenade. Even if you have last junks, blast you really <laughs> doesn't do anything. But we're playing a little do uh, domination here on Villa, playing a little Black Ops. Black Ops, very good game, very fun game, using the MP5K. MP5K, very awesome gun in this game, and uh, we're gonna be seeing some very noob -a noob noob -a noob players. I'm going up against like, uh, why I say noob -a noob, I mean. Second chance galore, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Second chance is ridiculous in this game. Like, so many people are using it. And typically, it doesn't bother me because I use shotguns. You know, a lot of time I run with shotguns when I play Black Ops because I'm a shotgun player. I enjoy shotgunning. But, uh, you know, if those of you are unaware, when you're playing Black Ops and someone's using Second Chance, but you are using a shotgun, they don't drop in the Second Chance when you use a shotgun, which is something that definitely should have implemented in the Marvel 3, but, it's, you know, they ended up doing it. But uh, you know, it definitely doesn't, you know, second chance doesn't bother you at all when you're using a shotgun. But it does bother me this game, so I'm using a submachine gun and this AUG that I picked up. But uh, I want to. <sighs> I am burnt, you guys. I am absolutely 100% burnt out on uh, Mod for 3 at this point. Uh, I'm not trying to say, I'm not, I don't want to make a flame video because I'm not that kind of commentator. You know, I don't like, you know, I don't like to be known for whining and complaining and bitching, but. I am at the point where I need a break from Over 3, right? I'm sure we've all been to that point. I'm sure you guys have all been at this point already, or if not, you're going to be there pretty close. Because, you know, it's not even really Mall for 3's fault. It's basically, it happens every time a new Call of Duty comes out. You know, when Black Ops is out after a few months, you're like, God damn, let's go back to Mall for 2 for a bit. Or, you know, when World of War was out, people were very quick to jump right back to Call of Duty 4. That was, like, kind of the fastest transition ever. Like, it only took a couple of weeks. Everyone's like, oh, this game sucks. Back to COD 4. You know, and um, when your people are playing Mall for two, they're like, "Oh, back to COD 4." You know, uh, when a new Call of Duty comes out, you know, after a while, you you kind of want to switch it up for a bit. You know, take a few weeks away from that game, just get, just get something different. Because I am burnt on Mall for three right now. Like, I've seen everything, I've done everything, I've posted. I actually made a playlist. Um, I've posted almost 150 Mall for three videos, which is a lot. When, especially when I keep myself to a standard, you know what I mean? Which standards have definitely dropped on YouTube, which, you know, they're, supposedly they're gone up, but other people's standards have gone down. Like, I still hold myself, you know, when, it, when it's a team deathmatch, you know, I try to get nearly 40 kills or more. If it's free-for-all, I won't allow more than, like, one death in it. Uh, search and destroy, typically it goes flawless with more than 10 kills, you know. Uh, domination, 40 kills at least, you know, better if I get 50 or more. You know, just kind of standards like that I try to hold myself to, and try and hold yourself to these high-quality standards when the game is so... I'm, I, I call it the average effect. Like, you go up against a bunch of average players with all the bullshit in the game, you know, easy gun, you know, easy guns to use, and um, kill streaks are getting harder and harder to get, and they're getting easier and easier to shoot down, and death streaks are just flying at you off from every direction. You know, uh, things like that cause for a lot of average scores from good players, right? And it's really bothering me. And I'm just at this point where I'm just kind of, like, tired of the game. Like, I'm kind of burnt out on it, you know what I mean? Like, um... Okay, well, this is a possible scenario, because I have steadily gained, you know, I started off with 300 subscribers when Mod for 3 came out, I'm sitting at just just over uh, 12,000 12, now, so uh, you guys may not know, pick, you guys may have been picked up along the way, but um, I was actually, <laughs> a couple of SB members and I, we had kind of a race to 10th Prestige, right? We had the goal to hit 10th Prestige before Christmas, and uh, you, like, when the game came out, November 8th or 9th? I think it came out the 8th. I think it came out at midnight. On the eighth, you know, which is technically the ninth. I, mean, I might be wrong about that. You can you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments because you know I'm not always right. But we had a race to see if you can get the tenth prestige the fastest, you know. And I think I got I think I hit tenth prestige, legitimate by the way, you know, no double XP glitch or nothing like that. Uh, I think hit I think I hit tenth prestige on December twentieth, 
with seven days played. Seven days played and just and just over, and the game's only just out for like 30 months. Like I, bur I was burnt on it at that point. Then I kept on going, then I ended up getting reset, because, you know, mind you, after I hit 10th prestige, after I got the 10th legit and all that, uh, I decided to do the prestige so I can go to try and get myself some uh, gold guns faster to get, you know, extra double weapon XP, but then I ended up getting reset for that. And then I had to make a new account, and now I'm, I'm playing, I'm up to 6th prestige on that account, which I could be 10th already, because I have about 7 days played on a backup account. So all in all, guys, I'm sitting here at about 16 days on Mom for 3. 16 or 17. And that's a lot. That is like, you know, actually I've, I've had subs to my friends list, so some of you actually have more playtime than me combined, but um, a lot of you are like, you know, a fourth of that. You know, and yeah, I, <laughs> you guys think you guys get frustrated game. Picture how many times, how often you've played the game times that by four, which I'm okay with that because this is my job, right? This is my job to post, play Call of Duty and post videos about it. So I'm okay with that. I'm not, I'm not regretting the playtime or anything like that. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm wasting my life or anything. I just feel as though, you know, I'm tired, I need, I'm tired of the game, right? <laughs> so I just like, you know, while Call of Duty's fun to me, Call of Duty's still fun to me. You know, that's why I'm playing Black Ops. That's why I still play World of War now and again. I try to play Call of Duty 4, but that game is just, wow. You know, the amount of hackers on that game, that's just, it's just broken all the shit. And um, so I've been trying to play, I'm playing other games uh, more recently. And not, not even just Call of Duty. I've been playing, you know, Red Dead Redemption, Tiger Woods, PGA Tour, uh, games like that. I try, I, I rebought Grand Theft Auto 4, but it's not as fun as I thought it would be, but... Uh, you know, I have been playing other games, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making this video to say I'm going to be playing other games. I'm just, well, I'm going to be posting other Call of Duties, but I'm going to be taking, you know, this doesn't really affect you in any way, but I'm just letting, you know, I'm going to be taking like a two-week break from Modern Warfare 3, just something to ease my stress, ease the stress level, because Modern Warfare 3 is a game that has just put YouTubers at max, like, it's so frustrating with all the shit that's in it. Like, you know, you picture your favorite YouTubers, they hardly play this game to the extent that they played the other games, just because they don't like it. You know, some YouTubers even stop playing Mom for Three in general, and they they post other stuff. You know, they just ah oh man, I I am gonna be I'm gonna continue to play it. You know, I'm just gonna be taking a little break from it. Mob Monday and Mob Friday is not gonna be affected in any way, in any way, shape, or form. Mob Monday, I'll still put Mob Monday and Mob Friday. We have plenty saved up, and I've also got a couple Mom for Three gameplays saved up that I will commentate over the upcoming weeks. But I'm just like you know, you can expect some you know some new nice Black Ops gameplay, possibly some COD Four if I can get a decent lobby. Or you know, possibly some World of War, you know, things like that. You just switch up a bit, which you know, variety is always a good thing. You know, um, I definitely know that. You know, I do have subscribers on my friends list, and I've been noticing lately that you guys haven't been playing Mom for three that much. Like, I'll wait, I'll get on, I'll send a message out to my, all my subs, and be like, "Who's down to play some Dom Mom for three? And I'll get like two messages back out of like the thirty people that are online. And I don't know if that's if they're getting bored of me or if they're just bored of the game. Because these people, mind you, they're playing other games. They're playing FIFA. They're playing Black Ops. They're playing Zombies. They're playing World of War. They're playing COD 4. A lot of them are playing Mom for 2. You know, people, I think I think uh, we're at the point, which it's not even necessarily Mom for 3's fault. I think we're just at the point in uh, the Call of Duty life cycle that uh, everyone's just kind of bored of the newest game. They kind of want to switch things up because they've been playing the newest game so much. But, uh... Yeah, I'm just kind of, yeah, I'm happy with it. You know, I'm happy posting some Black Ops, because I do love this game. I do love playing it, so. But we're at the end of our gameplay. This gameplay actually went by pretty quick. I wasn't even looking at my computer screen the whole time. I did get a final score of 69 and 5, using it primarily the MP5. I did pick up a couple other guns throughout. Uh, two captures, three defends, nearly 4,000 score in Domination Match. That's a pretty good game overall. So if you guys all enjoyed this, remember to rate the video. Let me know, you know, what, what would you rather see? You know, Black Ops, COD 4, World of War, possibly other games. Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to rate the video. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. All right, well, I hope you guys all enjoyed that little Black Ops gameplay and commentary. And if you did, remember to rate it. But for right now, time for the post roll here on my channel. On the left-hand side of your screen, something different. We're going to take you to Nero's Road to 10th Prestige. I actually made a playlist of every... I recorded every time I prestige, 1 through 10 initially. You can see my stats throughout every prestige, how they progressed. One prestige, I only got three total losses. Pretty cool. And uh, you can see all my stats as I hit 10th Prestige, things like that. On the right-hand side of your screen, my most recent video is uh, Black Ops 2. Kind of a kind of an opinion-based, uh, skeptical uh, video, but still a good one nonetheless. When you're around here, you like the commentaries I do, you like the way I talk, you know, things I do. Yeah, click subscribe, right there on your screen. You can also follow me on Twitter, link in the description for that. And in the bottom right hand side of your screen, the mystery box, oh lord, the mystery box will take you to a video that I just randomly put in there. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Remember to rate the video, click where if you like clicking, and have a wonderful day, guys.